Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn something called as branch instructions. Instructions that cause a branch in the program, branch instructions of 8086. Uh, now you know instructions normally are executed in a sequential manner. They go one by one. That's not because of gravity. I've covered this in the architecture video. That's because of something called IP. IP stands for instruction pointer. IP always gets incremented after every instruction. That's what makes the program go in a sequential manner. So that's the default behavior of a program. Now, because you've done programs in some or the other language, you know, you don't always go sequential. Sometimes for some reason, depending from program to program, situation to situation, you may want to change the flow of the program. You may want to jump to some other location like an if or any kind of a loop, etc. like a go to statement in a C program. Anyway, so if you want to do a jump, the instruction to be used for that is jump JMP. So I'll be teaching you that in detail. Then there is another kind of branch called as a call. Now there's a difference, a basic difference. I'll give you the basic difference between a jump and a call. In a jump, you go to a new location and you continue. You go there for good and you continue. There's no question of coming back. But in a call, what are you doing? You're calling a function. A function in our language is also called a subroutine. In C, Java programs, we call them functions here or procedures. Here we call them subroutines, subroutine. Okay. So suppose there is a subroutine like a function with the name sub. It could be any name. I've just given the name sub. So you want to call that subroutine. Suppose it's a function to find delay or to produce a delay. So you've done an operation here. You will do another operation here between the two. You need a delay like traffic lights. You showed red. Now you want to show green, but you need a delay for that. You will hope that delay to be very small. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so if you want a delay, you call a function. So that function is your subroutine. So the instruction used to invoke a subroutine is a call. You never jump to a subroutine. Get this clear. A jump also changes the flow of the program. A call also changes the flow of the program, but there's a difference. In a jump, you go ahead and you continue. In a call, you call the subroutine, execute this, and then you don't stop there. You come back. Where do you come back to the same instruction? No, how can you? If you come back to the same instruction, you'll again go and this will end up being an infinite loop. You come back to the exactly next instruction. Of course, how we manage to do that, there is a procedure which I'll be teaching you. So that's the basic difference between a jump and a call. In a jump, you go ahead and continue. In a call, you call a function, execute this, and then you return. The instruction used to come back as a return. So you learn these two instructions together. They go hand in hand, call and return. So I'll be teaching you that. Then we'll come to all the conditional types of jumps, jump if carry, jump if no carry, etc., etc. Plus, I'll show you its use. Now, they are very useful when you want to create loops. Now, when you want, now I'm sure you know how important looping is. Now, if you want to grow out of adding two numbers, you can't be adding two numbers for the rest of your life. You are going to do serious programs. Any big program is a small program put in a loop. Get this clear. The program to transfer one byte of data is the same program to transfer a whole file. The only thing that happens is after transferring one byte, you put it in a loop. The program to add 10 numbers, you don't really add 10 numbers. You add the first number and then put it in a loop and so on. So if you want to do serious programs going out of addition of two numbers, you want to do serious programs, you are going to create loops. All big programs require loops. Now there are different types of loops. You can create an infinite loop, which is also useful. Don't think infinite loops are never used in the world. They are. There's so many examples. I'll be giving you examples. Anyway, so you create an infinite loop using jump instruction. That's the unconditional one. And then you create finite loops, the more regularly used loops, like a for loop. So that is created in assembly language using two kinds of instructions. Either you use JNZ, which was there since 885 days, or you use the better one, the more refined, the more uh, efficient one called loop. So I'll be teaching you that instruction also. And again, they are conditional forms. So that's the whole idea. We'll be covering that whole section of branch instructions today. Now, as you know, this is an introduction. You will be, uh, if you want to watch the whole video, the whole video will be there on my website. It's called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The name is given, that's the same name of the channel. Just remove the spaces and put a dot com next to it. You type half of it, Google will tell you where it is. Anyway, so uh, I'm sure if you've been seeing my videos so far, you know what I've been doing. I have put up all the introduction and the basic architecture videos for the whole world to watch. But if you want to learn all the intense topics, you got to come to my website. I've kept the subscription fee ridiculously low as compared to what we charge in the classroom. So, and uh, all you need to do is go into the website, subscribe, pay up, 
used it. All f simpler form of pay simple forms of payments are there, Paytm and uh, net banking and debit cards, credit cards, even international payments have been accepted now. Anyway, so all you have to do is just make the payment and that's it. Within a second, your subscription becomes active for the next six months, six months. You can watch all the videos as many times as you like. We have not kept a cap on how many views we allow per video. That is infinite. You may keep playing it all the time. I'm sure you won't need to, but you could. Okay, so that's about it. If you want to watch the whole video, please come to my website. It's called bharatacharyeducation.com. Okay, let's start.